new here. My name is Laura Lee. I'm a certified personal trainer, a certified nutrition coach, and I make health and wellness content. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you guys through my nighttime routine. So this is what I do to unwind and reset to have a great day in front of me tomorrow. I just got done with my evening hot girl walk, and it was a literal hot girl walk because was 90 degrees outside so I like to try to do them in the evenings in the summertime just so it's less hot out but still sweating so now I'm gonna do my everything shower so wash the hair all that good stuff and before I jump in the shower I wanted to show you guys some products that I've been using with my hair that I've just recently started using but I really love this is not sponsored at all but I just want to put you guys on these products in case you're interested this is the verb ghost shampoo and conditioner I started using the verb brand with a leave-in conditioner that I found by them. It makes my hair really silky soft and also smells great and it doubles as a heat protectant. So I fell in love with that product and then I ran out of shampoo and conditioner. So I bought this duo off of Amazon. It comes in a pack, I believe. That's how I bought it. And I've been using it for a few weeks now and I really love it. So I think it's a great brand. I will link these below if you're interested in buying them off of Amazon. Like I said, not sponsored. I just really love these products. All right, so now I'm gonna get all fresh and clean and I'll check in with you guys when I do my nighttime hair and skincare routine. All right, fresh out of the shower. So I'm gonna do my skincare and my hair care routine. And while we're doing that, I figured we'd just chat and catch up because if you are an OG subscriber, you may have noticed that I haven't really been uploading full length YouTube videos. So I just want to chat about like where I've been and where my head is at these last couple of weeks slash month. So basically, I've been kind of in a rut with YouTube if I'm being honest. And what's really interesting is that I don't feel like I'm in a rut with Instagram or with TikTok, I feel really creative in those platforms. And I really think it's because they're short form videos, you know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or, you know, with TikTok, like sometimes a few minutes, like talking videos. And I feel like I'm always coming up with new ideas there. And I feel like I haven't run out of creative juices there yet. But there's something about YouTube that I was so excited when I first started my channel. I started it at the beginning of 2022 in January and I was so excited when I started it and I felt like I had all these ideas and then I just started to really like second guess myself with this platform, which again is interesting because I don't feel like I do that so much on Instagram and TikTok, but I just started to have these thoughts of like, okay, well, what, what do I do now? Like, what should I film? Or like, I would start to film or like come up with ideas to film YouTube videos and then I'd be like, oh, I don't like that or that's not good or like my life is boring, I don't like I, like, I do the same thing every day. And I feel like a lot of content creators feel this at some point in their journey, which is that like, they're like, am I boring? <laughs> you know, do people like seeing my day to day? It, it's so easy to second guess yourself with that. And especially for someone who is in like the health and wellness sphere and lifestyle, I feel like a lot of people may struggle with this. The, the point of like a health and wellness page or a lifestyle page is that you do the same things every day because consistency is what leads you to results. So like my day to day pretty much looks the same. My morning routine is the same every morning. My nighttime routine that you're seeing now is pretty much the same every night. So I just started to really get in my head about YouTube and be like, well, like this, like no one's gonna watch this. This like isn't interesting. So that's where I've been at. Um, maybe I just need to get out of my own head as I'm talking about this, that's what I'm thinking. The other thing that I think has made me kind of stop uploading consistently is that my camera, and now don't, before I say this, I do have a very nice camera and I feel very lucky to use it. It's a Nikon. It's actually not my camera, it's my boyfriend, so I feel very grateful that he lets me use it. But it is not, um, it's very big and it's not very user friendly like it's a complicated camera it's not a point and shoot camera and i kind of need a point and shoot camera for vlogging it's just not like so easy to use and it's it's really more for experienced photographers and videographers and it's been so great to use it 
you have to like manually focus all of the shots before you start. Like, I cannot tell you how many times I have shot seeing, you know, like uh, things of me talking and then I'll go back and look at the footage and it's all blurry. Like I am out of focus. <laughs> so that's been a little bit of a struggle. And then also a few months ago, randomly, the port for the microphone, I used an external mic for the camera and the port, like something happened to it and so like it doesn't work anymore. And so whenever I film, all of the clips have static noise. And I did check, it's not my microphone because I, used another one and tried it. It's not my microphone, it's something about the port that is broken on this camera. So like that needs to be fixed too. So then every time I am editing a YouTube video, it takes me extra steps to edit the audio quality and sometimes it still isn't all the way fixed. So long story short, that is what has been keeping me from uploading consistently on here. I do hope to get back into it. I have some ideas and I think maybe I'll just stop second guessing myself. The other thing was I didn't want to create or put out a video just to put out a video. Like I wanted to really like the idea. I wanted it to be, I wanted it to be a solid formed idea and I wanted it to be content that I was genuinely proud of. And I think that with my TikTok and Instagram, I only put out content that I'm genuinely proud of. I'm like, oh, I love this. I think other people will love it too. And with all the video, video ideas I was having the last like month or two months, I just haven't felt like so great about them so I didn't want to like put out content just to put out content like just for the sake of video Olivia says hello so that's why I didn't upload and I feel like that's better than like just like uploading every week mediocre videos or videos that I didn't feel proud of hi Olivia <laughs> this is so funny you gonna say hi maybe no just gonna look So let me know in the comments down below what kind of videos you want to see on my channel. If you do want to see more of my day-to-day -day life, even if it is a little bit of the same, like maybe a few days in my life or maybe a week in my life, I can certainly do that. If you want more like educational content on like, that is Olivia climbing my drawers. If you want more educational content of like how to structure workouts or, you know, health and wellness content, but like educational sit down videos, I can do that. I'm also thinking about my next video being an Amazon favorites, but for fitness, for health and wellness. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that. Anyways, I'm done with my hair care and skincare routine. And now I'm just going to put on some eye patches. And let those sit on my face for a bit. All right, so I am just about to whip up some dinner and I am on my own tonight. My boyfriend is umpiring softball. Fun fact, he does that sometimes on weeknights. So I'm going to be making this Trader Joe's shrimp fried rice. Easy, simple. I love Trader Joe's frozen meals. I just feel like they are superior to other grocery stores. And then to give me some more veggie, just gonna throw in some shelled edamame. I, as you can tell, I am not the cook of this family. My boyfriend Jacob is the chef. So I will be doing an easy dinner tonight. And while I'm here, we did just go to Trader Joe's recently and I got some snacks that I wanna share with you guys. Okay, so first, as you can see, we've almost eaten this whole bag. These are the Trader Joe's Cacio de Pepe Puffs, cheese and pepper corn and rice snacks. These, phenomenal flavor, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. This is also one of my favorites from Trader Joe's. It is the chili spiced mango. So it's dried mango. It is so good. And I feel like anytime I get dried fruit at another store, it's like $10, like something ridiculous. This is $2.50 a bag of Trader Joe's. So just saying, if you're not eating these yet, go get some. And then last, we haven't opened these, but I've had these before. These are the crispy, crunchy okra. So yummy, love the flavor. Anyway, that's my little mini snack haul from Trader Joe's. Let me know in the comments down below what you normally get from Trader Joe's. I go back and forth between loving Trader Joe's and liking Whole Foods better. I feel like Trader Joe's is so good for frozen meals, easy meals, and like packaged foods, and it's also much cheaper than Whole Foods. But I do love Whole Foods for the produce, the veggies, the fruit, and all of like the meat and, and fish and things like that, like protein. I don't know, I'm torn. So let me know in the comments below which one that you like to shop at more. Anyways, I'm gonna get on with dinner and I will check in with you guys in a bit.
It is phenomenal. Mm. So good. All right, I am in my office and I'm just about to do a little bit of a brain dump, some things I need to do tomorrow and for the rest of the week. Miss Olivia is sleeping in her tower in the background. But I wanted to show you guys the little template I use for my to-do list. This is, I believe, from the brand Knock Knock. You can find it on Amazon and I can link it below. I love it, it's a great way to see on paper what you need to get done for each day of the week. I also have a to-do list on my phone. Anyone else like that, I have a list on my phone, I have a list on paper, but it's just something about seeing like the really key things on paper that I find personally helpful. So I'm gonna fill this out for what I need to get done for the rest of the week and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. <laughs> games I've got the outfit I'm ready to go I also like putting on my gym fit first thing in the morning even if I don't end up working out right then if I end up working out later in the morning but it makes me less likely to skip my workout so if I'm like contemplating mid-morning like oh I don't really want to work out maybe I won't then I look down I'm like I'm already in gym clothes I should go get my workout in so that's a little hack if you want to work out first thing in the morning or you're going to work out later in the morning or the afternoon put your gym fit on if you're able to first thing in the morning that way you're less likely to skip your workout for my gym fit I think I'm going to go with the latest Gymshark x Whitney Simmons launch I have this beautiful blue color it's called Optimus blue I get the matching set I am so in love with this collection and honestly the other past previous versions of Whitney Simmons like I thought it was okay but I wasn't crazy over and it's something about these colors in the launch I literally want all of them so I think that this blue in particular is sold out they may bring it back in stock I know they did for the last round of this collection so keep your keep your eyes on the Gymshark website if they do come back in stock but I will link colors that are still in stock. I really have my eyes on the navy, indigo navy set, um, but, but, I, but I haven't bit the bullet yet. But I also have the brown color and I can attest that that brown is so beautiful. And this fabric feels like butter on my skin. It's so comfortable to work out in, makes me feel beautiful. I just love it. So anyway, I'm gonna set this out so that it's ready to go tomorrow. And when I wake up, I'll put it on and then I'll get my workout in. Now I'm getting in bed and I'm not going to sleep yet, but I'm going to read. So I'm currently reading The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. I've read this book before and I'm just rereading it because it's a good one. So I'm gonna sit in bed and read for a little bit and honestly, that's pretty much my night. So that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, found it helpful, and thanks for sticking around with me in my YouTube journey. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what kinds of other videos you'd love to see on my channel. I always love getting feedback from people because really this channel is what is gonna help you guys and what you guys wanna see. So please leave a comment, don't hesitate. Let me know anything else you'd like to see on my channel. And make sure to follow me on Instagram and on TikTok for daily health and wellness tips. And just for an inside look into my everyday life, I'm always talking on Instagram stories, I'm always chatting it up, I'm always making funny videos and educational and inspirational videos. So make sure to follow me on there. And I will see you guys in the next one.